everybody, and welcome back. It is Saturday. It's late on Saturday. It's actually 4 o'clock, a little after 4. Um, the girl's been up since 5.45. I had to um, go work Willow's Warehouse today, and it closed down at 4, but I left a little early. I left uh, my husband there. TJ had a clean-out job, so I went there again. But I'll tell you this. I packed my sun bum and I packed my uh, hydrocortisone cream my thing. I wore a long sleeve shirt and my pants and I stayed out of the sun. I'm the sun is not my friend right now. Um, my lip is doing better. Just to give you a recap. I got severely um, blistered last week. Um, uh, I guess it started healing, and then after you take a shower, it becomes raw again. And um, last night when I brushed my teeth, I must have hit it really hard with the toothbrush, and I saw stars. So it is healing. It looks like I literally got punched now because they blister up again. But slow and steady, it's happening. It's getting better. It's been one whole week since it actually happened, so it is what it is. It's actually a two coffee day. I'm actually on my second coffee. And I do have, see if I can bring it in. So I do have my diffuser going. And I have to show you what I have in my diffuser. I have this. Do you see that? It's called brain power. And a few seconds of this going right here on my desk, I can actually feel my mind actually work. I really do. So what did you think? of that new intro. Did you see the money coming at you? Okay. The reason I did that and the reason why I used the affirmation, I am worthy of the wealth I desire because I want to do this with you. Every time you watch that video or watch one of my videos, that's going to be in the beginning. Repeat that to yourself. Say it when it shows up on the screen for that 10 seconds. Just read it. I, I, I honestly, I've been watching some videos in regards to affirmations and um, attracting and things like that. And the more we see, touch, feel, and save, the more I believe it comes at us. So I thought that it would be kind of cool if we did that together. All right. That's why I did that new intro because I want to attract it to us all. So that means I have to watch my videos too, right? Unless somebody, one of my girls, want to put it in the front of theirs, that would be fine too. So when I go to watch your videos, I see it. All right. I'm not hiding it today because it's the thumbnail. I wanted to show you that tonight's game night. All right. First person I saw that had this was um, Wendy over at Wendy Casper. She has her own channel. Please go check her out. She's almost at her 250 subscriber count. Help her get there. Subscribe to her. Please go, 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 go. Just hit that subscribe button. Help a, help a fellow saver, budgeter out. I saw her use this. Now I do have mine, right? That I got from McDonald's. Then I saw Budget with Mama Bear. She had them. So after I saw those two girls have them, because they're my girls, um, I've been going to my Dollar Tree. Well, last night we were at the mall area to get that piece for my hot tub, which we got. And I forgot to go to that Dollar Tree. So on the way home, I said to my husband, please just stop at ours. I just want to go in and look. Right? And I just happened to start going up and down the aisles. And he meets me in one of the aisles and he's like, oh, they don't have it. The girl said it would be here and with the kids' toys. You know what? If you found these, tell me what aisle you found them in. Because my Dollar Tree switched their aisles up. Dog treats and cat treats are already at the far end of the store in the front. It's it's all switched. So I was in by the toys, and he's like, they're supposed to be here. I go, no. There's a whole section now opposite our stickers that they have educational mathematic cards and things like that and he's like no the girl said they'd be here I go hmm babe you not know me long enough 
I don't care what they tell me. I'm going to look up and down these. It could be on an end cap for all I know. Give me a few seconds. So I go back to where I thought they were. Guess what? There was only one. I was like, oh my God, there they are. And he's like, oh, that's them? I'm like, and you were looking for them for me? Thank you. But I wanted one so I can gift it to somebody and I could not find it. But I did find it. And even though I finished out my card game yesterday, well, I, I put it into sinking fund yesterday, I needed a new one. Same design, different design facing me. It, it just gives me the happiness to do it. So this is what I was thinking. Okay, I know, I know, we're not into games yet. I was thinking to myself, how could I think that I can complete this in a little bit of a faster, timely um, manner, right? And this is where I'm going to start. Um, so I'm going to write started. I want to do this. I started on 6 3 23 maybe ended or completed um this is what i i was thinking about actually while i slept last night because sometimes i do that i think i envisions or thoughts or um my creativity comes best while i sleep so this is what i was thinking hear me out because i was watching um Lil, the EMT dispatcher, right? And, ooh, we got jokers. Okay. I was thinking, oh, they're all in order, too. She did shut the box. Did she do shut the box the other day? In a low-budget way. And I thought it was so smart. So then I was thinking, how can I do this but... Do it so that I can maybe complete it faster on a not high, high budget, right? So this is what I was thinking. So these are all the hearts. These are all the diamonds, spades, and clubs, right? And look at these images. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, my. I, I did not see them. Uh, look. Oh, she's... Okay, so the face cards have them on it. Toulouse! That's my cat! Our cat is named Toulouse because of Toulouse. Oh my gosh. Mowgli. And he's the Joker. Alright, let's look at these. Alright. Donald Duck is the diamond. The owl from Winnie the Pooh. Marie from the Aristocats. And Baloo. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Holy crap. I didn't think that these were going to make me so silly happy. Okay. Mick, of course, is an ace. Right? Oh. Oh, Piglet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at them. Magira and, um, oh, my God, why can't I think of her name? Oh, my God. It's such a beautiful name. Come on, help me out. What does he call her? Oh, you know what it is. I can't think. So we got Minnie. And the OMG. Oh, Berlioz. Oh, God. Okay. These are hysterical. All right. So this is what I am doing. I am going to start with spades because that's what I have up here first. So we're starting with spades. I'm going to do spades. And this is what I want to do. I'm going to add on this. When I have a little extra money, Goofy, the Joker, and Tigger, the Joker. I want to make these each $20. So when I get a bigger lump sum for game night, I want to make them that. I want to make them that. I don't know why I just decided on that number. But this is what I'm thinking. All right. I'm going to stick this aside for now. And we're going to show... Oh, 
I didn't even look at these. I seen these mama bears, right? So what I'm thinking is that they need to be shuffled. They need to be shuffled. And then what they need to be done is, um, let's do fours. And I'm going to do one at a time. Usually I do four cards, but I think I would like to try to do five cards a week. I know it's, it's a funny way of shuffling, but it actually, it will work. All right. We're obviously starting with these. Okay. I'm going to pick out four cards. And we're going to grab that one, that one, that one, and this one. Ooh. All right. I'm going to stick them there for now just in case I want to um, do more towards the end. First, well, not first. We're, we've done so many firsts. I think it's time to count how much money we have. So we have, we don't have a lot. Um, 20, meaning, I, I don't think we have, like, broken up denominations. So we got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 133 dollars. Oh, so funny. Let me tell you, today, um, someone went to hand me money for something that they were buying. And it was so wild. I go out loud out loud i go oh let me see if there's any d bucks in there and they looked at me and they go what are you talking about so i go oh i said i, I do savings challenges I, I challenge myself to save money and i save the letter d's i said because my name begins with a d and like well, we don't understand so i go oh and then i gave them the whole spiel on you know a through l and how they're you know made and they're like oh my gosh i never knew that so i had such a fun time talking about this all right so we have our monies we now have our notebook oh look at this i didn't even like i was so excited to bring this to you all today that i didn't do any of these yeah see how, in some aspects of my life i'm very organized and in other aspects of my life I am not. All right, we're not looking at these yet. Okay. We're going to then, we're going to do this together too. I figure, why not? Let's hang out together Saturday afternoon. Hubby's still at TJ's, so I feel like I have a little bit of a break. Um, you know what? I love this one so much. I do. I truly love it so much that I am like, mm. Okay, so we have a couple of things to talk about today, and it's um, questions that were asked to me in comments that I did not get a chance to reply to. So that goes to show you that even though I did not get a chance to reply to them, I saw your comment. And I do. I really try to get to see them. So let me address those real quick. So this is how I make my envelopes, and I've showed them before a few times. And I love the feel of paper. Um, as soon as my older challenges are done with the laminated, psh, lamination is out the window. When I first started this year's journey, I thought that I wanted all of my envelopes to be laminated. And they started breaking at the seams, even though I think I laminated pretty decently. And I'm like, that's an added expense to make it when when most of us are done, I would assume, I don't know that, I shouldn't say that, I think we move on to another challenge. And we might save this for a later date, but um, for the most part, they might be one and done. So why go through all that extra effort and money to laminate them? And for me, the crafter and the girl in me, I have a texture, love paper, love paper. Okay. So this is how I do my envelopes, which was a question. This is one of the hole punches that I use to do my A6, because I'm an A6 girl. 
And I got this on Amazon, and I will link this in the description box below. You do have to, like, you do have to line them up when you get this, and you test them and do all that. But I, I enjoy this one. Then my next question was this. These are my originals that I did not get to yet. And when I first did this, I thought that I wanted the discs. I don't want the discs. And these are the laminated versions. So, yeah, I, I truly don't want this. I really want the feel of paper. But every, everybody do you. you. You If you love that or you love the envelopes, you got to do you. And I know the girls that like the envelopes. And I, I call you girls because you're my girls. You know, I if, if say that affectionately. Um, you can just cut this out and use it as a dashboard. You don't even have to. Like, once you get this, cut it out and use him as a dashboard. And you're good. The other question was, if if this was, because the question was, where did I get my hole punchers? But I wasn't sure what hole punch you were talking about. Were you talking about the A6, or were you talking about the disc, which is the Create 365, which is the Happy Planner hole punch? I'm not sure which one you were asking in regards to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link both of them in the description box below. Then what else I want to tell you is, is uh, go watch yesterday's video of me um, taking my finished challenges and putting them into my sinking funds because there's a special at the end of that video you might want to go check out. Now, I have to still get, see how I'm not ready today, but I'm actually loving the fact that we're all doing this together. I needed to get my... Envelope, envelope, my binder. Okay, so I put this one in the front. We did empty the most, most of this money out. We did. But we kept some there. So hopefully when we do this, we can figure out if we have enough money to, to make change if we need to. All right. I think I'm going to do spades in... I'm going to try to keep it nice. Yesterday, if you didn't go... To, and I know I, I mentioned her in a lot of my videos, but this is the truth. Lisa Grateful Me. If you don't follow her, you really should. But yesterday she was talking, and it was very soothing and very enjoyable. And, and she colored in um, a lion. And, oh my gosh, I left it in her comments. She, she colored it. She was doing a savings challenge. And just her technique of coloring, I was blown away. The, the little girl in me was just like, oh, she colors nicely. I'm going to do a dark purple. Only because um, that's the way I'm feeling today. Nice, nice purple. All right. Shall we see? Love these cards. Love them. I'll put them over there. Shall we see which four we picked? Should we do one at a time? Oh, boy. See, I wish you were here to say, no, do, do all four. Flip them over. Like, like show your hand in a poker game. Oh, I think we're going to do that. Ready? Okay, what do you got? Because this is what I got. Oh, <laughs> we got a lot. Okay. All right, let's add it up. Jacks, 10, 8, 4, and 7. We have $29. We got 29. 25. 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so let's color them in. This is hysterical. That was a lot. See, like I said, some days you're going to be able to go back and when you get the higher ones done, you'll be like, oh, I'll finish off that. And it might go faster. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. All right, so we have the eight. We got four. Got uh, Eeyore's. Look at him. Oh my gosh. We got Jack. Jack. And then we got seven. All right. All right. So we're good with these. And what I'm going to do is. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. These were gifted to me this week by Beverly. And I'm thinking that I want to use, who do we say was in here? 
Um, let's do baby Mickey. We're going to put this on here. These are the ones that we've done. I'm going to stick them there like that. Oh, that works out. Okay, so this has a decent amount of money going into it for its first turn. That was fun. I, I don't know why, but it was extremely fun for me. All right. I think that there are singles in here. And part of me says that we should just take them out. Uh, see, I knew it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know where I took them from. Holy moly. Please stand by. Okay, they were in villains. So we have, leave that there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We'll take $30 back. That was very nice. Okay, so that goes back into villains. All right, that makes me happy. I feel like we can we can definitely play games. All right, let's... um. He always love to go to him. I don't know why. I love that game too. Oh, we didn't take it out. Oh, I didn't take that out. Okay, so this has to get um, retired, right? We're going to retire that. Let's go to the dice. Actually, you know what? Let's start with this one. I'm going to grab my die, and I roll it four times. And then I write them down, and that's how much I have to save. We've got two, five, three, and six. Ooh, that's going to be another biggie. Um, two, three, five, and six. That's $16 in, in this Alice game. So 16, and we don't have $4. Shoot. All right, so we've got 10, 5, and a 1. Okay. All right. Shall we see how much we have saved in here? Oh, and you know what we'll do? We're going to switch this out. All right, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 124 in Alice. Nice. All right. Um, let's go backwards to front. That's what we're going to do. I didn't mock where we left off on this, but you know what? Because I think we finished it. Why do I think that? All right. Five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to add two to Yogi Bear. Ready? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start over. I really think that this happened before. So I'm going to add five because I have to start over. One, two, three. Go back one. So I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to give it a five. I'm going to switch these two fives out for a ten. And we're going to go one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we'll go again. How's that? One, two, three, four, five. Two times the, the roll on the dice, so that would be ten dollars. Five times two is ten. You're done. You're finished. Shall we see? I think this is like the second time we played this, or third? So we got two, four, five, six, sixty-one dollars saved in Yogi. That's nice. All right, let's play Bell. Now, Bell could be done either way. You don't have to use Bell as a game. You could just save every denomination you want. 
I made Belle thinking she was a game when she came out of my brain. All right, so for me to start with Belle, I start here and I begin with $1. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do three dollars. One, two, three. Now I have a choice. I could go this way or I can go that way. Five. Huh. We'll go this way. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna add a two. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna start over. Only because I, I got that way. So I go five. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna start over with one. And I'm gonna, whoo, gonna go the opposite way this time. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna add a five dollar bill. One more time. One, two, three, four. We're adding a ten, and we are finished. <laughs> Shall we see what we're adding to Bell? Okay. Take their singles though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're gonna take these. Ten and a five. So inside of Bell, we have saved ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five dollars. Let's go to villains. Okay, here we come, villains. You're up. Oh, I need my other die for this. So my right hand is usually my top, and my left is usually the side. So we got three and four. One, two, three, four. We're going to add $2. Four. Two. Three. Four. And six. We're adding eight. So we're going to add these two back and grab a ten. One more time, we're going to go three and five, and we're going to add six. All right, let's see what Villains has, so we can play for a little bit. That's nice. We're over the $50 mark. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57. Going on to this one. That one. Did I take that one out by mistake? All right, I'm gonna put you on pause. Oh boy, for the life of me, I was like, where could it have gone? It was underneath her. So this is where I keep the challenges that I have completed. And I just keep them in an, uh, these are my favorite envelopes from the Dollar Tree because they snap shut. And I just keep them in a cubby behind me. And now this here goes before Queen of Hearts. I was like, oh my goodness, where could it have been? So, all right. Let's see if we can roll something other than a six and a three. We got a two and a two. All right. Two and a two. So we're going to grab four dollars. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. Six and five. That's going to be 11. So we'll grab six, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we'll go one more time. Four. How about a one? Yay! And we're going to grab five. And we're done. One, two, three, four, five. Shall we see what this one has in here? Ooh, I didn't realize. Well, that makes sense because I said that we weren't going to touch this one until this one was complete. Okay. 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35, 
This should be 40. That's three. So we have 143 inside of Mickey Mouse. Very nice. Now, wow, we've got a couple that are empty because we cleaned them out. Let's do, let's do Toy Story. Let's play with one. I'm going to start with one. We got four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got the grumpy bear. One, two, three, four. One more time. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we got the sheep. That's three dollars. One, two, three. All right, we're going to stick this in there. And Toy Story got some love. Muffley's empty. And Scooby's empty. And that's empty. All right, let's see. We'll do the Queen of Hearts. I'd like to see if I get something in each envelope. Okay, let's roll the Queen of Hearts. We'll give that four dollars. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Queen of Hearts is. Let's see how my tape kind of ripped right there. I'll show you. See. And what I do is I just grab it and I fix it. And I love it because you can't even see that there's tape there. All right, so we have some monies left. Let's do it one more time. We got one. And we got three. All right, so now I'm done with this game. So we're going to stick $4 in here. Oh, shall we see what we have in there? We had money in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, because we put it in there. Eight. Now, I want to go to Tinkerbell. So for Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell is usually my last game. And you can do this. It doesn't need to be a game. You can just save each denomination if you wanted to make it a challenge. And that's what some people do. For me, I use it as my last roll so that I don't have an IOU. So if I roll any box, I get to pick the denomination within the box. And I hope to goodness that there's $3 in that box. And there is usually, except for box number two. And we got box number two. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I have... Uh, I do. I don't know where my wallet is. Let me think for a second where my wallet is. All right, here we are. Let me grab my wallet. I do have a dollar. And it is a B-Buck. Okay. So see... I rolled box number two, and it's it, I could have picked any denomination. I could have played this first, and I get to choose the amounts I want to do. I could cross them off. It, it could be done, you could use your imagination. It could be done any way your heart desires. Oh, we had some money in tank. Shall we see? Oh, wow, we had a lot of money in tank. We have $64 in Tinkerbell right now. And with that being said... We are done with game day, and the singles rocketed that to be big again. We um, we did really well, and I got to play with the new cards, which don't fit in the kitchen sink. So maybe I'll just have the kitchen sinks in on top of them. And these are the cards that we're going to be working with, so maybe I'll leave them there. Oh yeah, that don't work. It'll just sit next to the kitchen sink. Like that. That works. I had a blast today. I am feeling so... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like like I got something done. I feel, I feel happy. My savings for today got done. Tomorrow we will be doing the giveaways. And we'll chat a little bit. And I think it will be wonderful. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. And I will see you all real soon. Bye.